Thank you. Hi, Jürgen. Four Hi, wins out that. Huh? Four wins out of four qualified top, top of the group. That this couldn't have gone any better for you, could it? Good. Yes. Probably the minute don't go off. Wouldn't have gone off with a hamstring injury. That would have been much better. Um, but <laughs> no, from a um, yeah, from a from my pretty much all other point of views, it's um, points of view. It's uh, it was a good performance. It's incredible group stage so far. Um, I wouldn't have expected that. Obviously, when I saw the draw, um, nobody would have expected that. Doing that is pretty special. Um, so, but for tonight, job done. But we all know, um, uh, yeah, there are two games to go, and we will try everything to win them as well. That's how it is. Thank you, Carl. We'll go to Carve Silico for the next two questions and then to Paul Joyce. Carve. Uh, Jürgen, um, the game really changed with the uh, sending yes. off. What, what did you make of that incident? <laughs> so um, I didn't see in the first place that it was a red card. For me, it was a yellow card. Then I saw it back, and then you see that. Uh, that the foot is high and um, hits his Achilles. So it's a decision by the referees. Um, I think um, after law, it's a, it's a red card. So um, do I want the other team going one man down? No, not at all. Uh, I think we were the better side already against 11. Um, but with the intense schedule we have, um, I think it, it's very important that you control the game after that a lot. And we, we did that. We scored still a goal, a wonderful goal. We had massive chances come on the field. So the goal we score is an incredible situation. What a pass by Joel Mate, what a dribbling, stuff like this, and it's for an inch offside, but good football. Then I think cost us with at least two crosses, which we could have, should have finished off um, at the second post with another chance after more dribbling, stuff, all these kind of things. So um, I actually, I don't think it changed too much, but of course it's a different game. And we um, try to, in this in November, we try to get through this game then just um, um, pretty mature and said it didn't work out. Bobby got injured and that's um, not good. Um, what did you make of Trent's performance? Uh, he put in an absolute fantastic cross for the first goal. And the second, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Both goals. So yeah, he's a good player. <laughs> um, obviously, and uh, he has a pretty impressive right foot and his awareness is outstanding. And when he's on top of his game he's outstanding that's how it is um, um, and but how we um, set up the first goal uh, with the triangle with Hendo Mo on that side in the end Trent has all the space and time in the world to, to put the cross in um, second goal obviously Sadio with an incredible um, um, yeah with his skill set just physically so strong technically so good getting rid of the defender passing the ball to Hendo Hendo outside and then getting through the gap so that's good football and um, in the end Trent can cross as good as he wants if there's no receiver in the middle then they don't look that good so it's a nice mix Paul Joyce next and then we'll go to uh, Andres who's in the taxi by the <laughs> heading away from Anfield but Paul next yeah again, can I just check you took Sadio off because you're worried about him maybe getting a red card is that the, the influence of the opposition players on the referee I think we, I, I I probably everybody in the stadium expected it, that I would do it. Probably each journalist expected that I would do it, and I thought it's the right thing to do, and I hated it more than you can imagine uh, because Sadio has played an incredible game. Um, oh, but then, what's the decision? So I, I was not worried that, that Sadio cannot handle um, his emotions. He was calm. The thing is, ball comes in the air, you're going to a heading challenge, uh, the other players going down, and we all saw what... what some Madrid players did. So just um, rolling over more and more in, in all the situations just to, to equal the, the number of players again. And um, yeah, I didn't like it, but I think it was the right thing to do. Oh, sorry, Paul, I'll put you on to mute. If you'd like to go, happy for the follow-up if you want to go. Okay, top man. Okay, we'll go to Andrus, then Dom King, and I'm trying to add James Pierce, but I don't think it's allowed me to, but so Andrus next. Hi, mister. Congratulations for the victory. Thank you. Uh, I couldn't see at the beginning of the game if you shake uh, Simeone's hand. I could see after the game how was this uh, these two moments and how was the game against Simeone today. Thank you. 
oh, it's absolutely no problem at all. I I, I know meanwhile that um, uh, Diego doesn't like these kind of things. So I'm not the, the biggest handshaker on this planet and want to annoy people with my um, handshaking. So he doesn't like it. So I was not, I didn't go over. That's all. But that doesn't change my respect for him and the work he's doing. Okay, thank you, Andres. And then uh, to finish, Dom King and James Pierce. Dom next, then James. Hi, Egan. Can I just check? Um, there was no uh, injury issue with Ox, was he? When he came off, he, he'd, he'd gone down and then got back up. Was it was it just to preserve him? Yeah. So, um, yeah, exactly. That was it. And and Tuck is obviously in a really good moment, how everybody could see when he came on. So we had that chance and Ox they, um, had a few games, but not too many. And um, so we didn't want to push him through that game. Now we have obviously next one on Sunday. We need all the boys. And um, so, yeah, that was the reason. He's fine. Thank you, Dom. Final question, James Pierce. Then we're going to conclude the press conference. Jürgen, how do you now view the, the final two games in this group? Do, do you see it as a chance to give game time to, to fringe players, or is there just too money, too much money at stake in this competition to, to do that? And, and the team we line up depends to this is the situation we are in around the game. So um, who was how in the game before? What is the next opponent? That was always, it's not now for these games. That's how it is. So we changed, I think, five times tonight. Um, and because we can't, don't consider the Madrid game more important than the West Ham game, for example. So you have to make changes even when players might um, not like it in a specific moment. Um, the, the Porto and the, the, there's only one difference. That's we are already qualified. Forget that because we are already qualified and all this is exactly like it was before. It's a Champions League game. The next one is at home. The, the, the game after that is at San Siro in Milan. I never played there. So um, I'm I'm really excited about that. So um, we will play there at home and, and there are real football. Can you imagine we play against, at, uh, against Porto at home and the crowd is really coming in from all over the world to watch the game um, and then you, you um, offer, I don't know, uh, a half cooked dish that's um, pretty much not how it would be we, we, we go for it we want to win football games that's all um, sometimes you can qualify for something sometimes not it's still the same thing you play a game you want to win it show it thanks everybody have a safe journey home okay